Hi, I'm Miss Megan from the Anderson Branch, and today I'm going to demonstrate a balloon rocket. First, we need supplies. That includes a balloon, a straw, some string, I chose yarn, some tape, and some scissors to cut the tape and the string with. All right, now that we have our supplies, let's get started. First, you're going to want to take your string and tie it to something secure. I chose this tree branch. If you're inside, you could try using a doorknob or the back of a chair. Next, you want to thread your straw on the string like so. Once you've done that, tie the other end of the string to something secure that's in the distance. I chose this other tree. Once you've done that, you're going to want to blow up your balloon. I've got mine all ready. And after that, you are going to use two pieces of tape to fix your balloon to the straw. Now it's ready to launch. Let's see what happens when I let my rocket ship go. A valiant effort. Now that you have seen a balloon rocket in action, let's talk about what made that rocket go. When I let go of the balloon, all the air rushed out, creating a forward motion called thrust. Thrust is a pushing force created by energy. With the balloon rocket, the thrust comes from the energy of the balloon forcing the air out. In a real rocket, thrust is created by the force of the burning rocket fuel as it blasts from the rocket's engine. You can turn your own balloon rocket into a science experiment. Try using different types of balloons, such as a round one versus an airship one. Try using different types of strings that could be ribbon, fishing line, yarn, and whatever else you think of. You could also try cutting the straw shorter to see if that affects how far the balloon will go. Thank you for watching my video today. See you soon.